Yeah, I will. I was going to get it while I was out at, um... Uh-huh. Yeah, I have messed my camera up some kind of way. I don't know what's going on. Like, what is... What does this even mean? Okay. My camera had me blurred out, like had this blurred out and that focus in the back. All right, anyway. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday. Also, my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad, if you see this. Um. Look how nostalgic we're being this morning. I haven't had these in forever. Okay, so this is gonna be my breakfast. So we did not go to the gym today. Yeah, you got it. We did not go to the gym today. Um, but that's okay because I am gonna do uh, a workout at home. Um, me and my cousin have decided to start incorporating the Pilates by Raven on the days we don't work out. We are going to work out tomorrow morning. This morning after daylight savings, it just wasn't the vibe. It just wasn't. It wasn't. So, um, what do we have to do today? Like I said, today's my day's birthday. So I'm going to cook dinner. Um, of course, I cook dinner every night. But this one is centered towards stuff he likes. So we're going to have lamb chops, uh, shrimp, fresh green beans, and uh, risotto. And my mom got him a cake, so I'm going to go pick the cake up and get the risotto while I'm out, everything else I have. So that's one thing we have to do is go pick the cake up and go to the store. Next, we're going to shave my underarms today. Um, it's time. It's been about maybe a month and a half. It's been about a month and a half since I've um, shaved my arm. So it's time. Like, it's time. It's a lot of hair under there. So we'll do that. Um, and I also need to clean my room. I've got clothes sitting downstairs hanging on. The, like, look, these are my clothes right here. Clothes. Clothes. I need to take that upstairs. There's hella clothes sitting on my um, chair that needs to be put up. There is a basket of clothes, clean clothes, and it's been clean for like two months, sitting in the middle of the floor in my room that I have not put up. Um, so hopefully we accomplish that today. Fingers crossed. Vitamins. consistent with taking my um vitamins i i like these i like this a lot like it tastes good to me like it tastes bad but it tastes good to me i don't know how to describe it like it tastes like medicine but i like the peach flavor mm. y'all know the whole reason we take them is to get rid of these gray hair see if the roots start growing back black I can't really tell right now. I do a more in-depth thing in like another week. I said I was going to check in two weeks because by the end I should have some new hair growth. But yeah, um, I'm about to eat my breakfast. I have not had a pancake on the stick. Like, oh my God. Hot. Sorry for feeling my food. Mm. Oh. Also, okay, look at my nose. I did these myself. I used some of my sister's gel X nails and I did that and I put dip powder on top. And I think that like that. I think I like that a lot. Like Why'd you bring your ball? You want somebody to play with you? 
Do you want somebody to play with you? You know we can't play on the steps. Shit, okay. You're okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay. The wax stuff is in my sister's room. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's see if you want to travel with that. That's not the case. Morgan, like, why I can't find the stuff? She the move What's calling? Shit. Of course you're about to that battery, of course. Hello. Morgan, where's the wax stuff? I'm in your room and I don't see it. What? Where's the wax stuff? I'm in your room and I don't see it. Um, I believe the pot is in the bookcase in my bathroom. And then the wax and the little sticks are in the top drawer on the right. I don't see the pot on the bookcase in your bathroom. Is it on the bookcase? No. Hello? Hey. Hey. Okay, if it's not on the bookcase, then it must be on the rack above my toilet. Yes, yes it is. And then the last thing in my sink area, top right drawer. The wax is in the sinks. I don't think I have to, uh-oh. This stops, oh. Yeah, I don't think I gotta add nothing to it. I say I don't think I gotta add any wax to it. Like this gonna be enough. Oh yeah, your carpet's gotta melt it. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 I think the wax is done. I've never done this without my sister being present, so I think it's done. Um, let me see if this is a safe temperature. The last time my sister she did the wax for me, she ba she about burned me because um, shit was too hot. Uh, uh, excuse me. What is a safe temp for wax? I'm at 160. I don't know if this is a hard wax or a, a soft wax. I'm going to put it on my hand. Let's see. Oh, it's actually here on my hand. This going to hurt. That wasn't hot. That wasn't hot. Shit, 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 shit. Shit hurt. This is gonna hurt so bad. I like can't inflict pain on myself. My body just don't allow it. So like, we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, let's see what we working with. That's how much hair we got. It's a lot, but it's not a lot. And I think it is growing I think we're gonna apply down and rip up. Ooh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Ooh, ooh, it is hot. Oh, it is hot. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Ugh. Ugh. It's wax on my hands. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, my knee just popped. Oh, no, still, still not good. Okay, let's talk about what we're watching on TV. Um, what am I watching on TV? I started this show on Apple TV. It's called The New Look. It's like a history timepiece. Absolutely love it. It talks about um, how the fashion industry has kind of like moved everybody forward. Like what was happening during World War II, their involvement, their influence. Honestly, the Germans was using the the people to influence. Like Coco Chanel, baby was a, she was a, uh, a little scammer. Um, we still a little tacky. My arm getting tired of being up like this. Uh, another show I'm watching. I, oh, but anyway, I really like the new look. You see, y'all see how my mind works. I really like the new look. It's good. It talks about uh Christian Dior. It's basically about Christian Dior and Coco Chanel. They mentioned Balenciaga, but I'm like on episode four in the middle of episode four. I haven't seen Balenciaga yet, but really, really, really good. Like I like history and i feel like the way they taught us history in school wasn't beneficial because if they taught us history like this i would have paid more attention um yeah another show that i want oh a movie y'all i watched priscilla yesterday her parents with the shits this gonna hurt hold on i can't talk i can't talk hold on oh i can't get it up oh i can't get it up Hold on, hold on. Let's turn you. I need the support from this. Yeah, that's what I need right here. Cause my arm is killing me. And now I can't see in the mirror. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, we gotta be a little quicker than that. Gotta get this little piece of wax off. Ooh. 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 Shit. Shit. Whoa. Why is it not doing the focus thing? I don't know, but okay, guys, this was pretty successful, I think. Let's look. Oh, it still works under there. And that still works. Oh, but it got such a good bit of it off. Okay. Let's go in for second coat. And we're gonna do like right here. Okay, Priscilla, back to what we were talking about. Her parents, one, one, one. If Elvis was still alive, he need to be sharing a jail cell with R. Kelly. I'm sorry this floor squeaking like that. But if Elvis was still alive, he need they need to share a jail cell. This girl and her parents, her parents need to be in jail too. This girl was groomed. The general the general who was doing the communication also needs to be in jail. Um, all of his friends need to be in jail. The dad needs to be in jail. Grandma needs to be in jail. 05 needs to be in jail. All these people knew this girl was 14, knew she was a child, and let him do that. And also, Elvis was low-key abusive on them drugs. 
I don't know. It was a great movie, but I was just like, Priscilla, Priscilla, why'd you put this out? Because apparently she wrote a book and that's what the movie is based off of. Tell your story, but why did you put this out? Because your parents allowed this to happen. Terrible. Terrible. I can't lie though. Like I told my mom, because we all, me and my mom, dad, and sister, we all watched it together. And I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I would have been in Elvis' bedroom too. Like if, if, <laughs> ooh, and that was a bad example. I was gonna say if Trey Songs. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know his story. Kiki told us. But if Trey Songz would have asked me to go to his bedroom, absolutely. If Chris Brown would have asked me to go to his bedroom, absolutely. Me and Chris Brown are actually close in age though, so it wouldn't have been like what Elvis had going on. But child, child, and her parent, her parents being fake concerned after they allowed her to do the shit. Like, why can't he be with somebody his own age? Why are you letting your child go? Y'all signed a permission slip for this bitch to leave Germany. To go visit him in Memphis. Why? Why? Okay. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Sorry for the cursing. Um, anyway. What else have I been watching? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was good. I got a lot of hair, too. Okay, I don't know um, what kind of camera the girls have when they do this on... TikTok to show because I see the hair under my arms. I see the hair on the wax, but not like the camera's not seeing it. Oh, oh, my arm hurt. Okay, let's get all of this off. Okay, my camera was doing some weird shit. I just reset um, the settings and hopefully this is, it looks better on the screen and it's doing like what I needed to do. That's so annoying. I have a month and a half of footage that just is basically ruined. Okay, anyway though, look at that. That's, uh oh, oh, that might be excellent. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna do one more like swipe through just to get everything and then we'll move on to the next one. Um, my new nighttime TV right now is Carol, um, in the end of the world. Uh, it, I, I have no idea what the hell is, is supposed to be. Like, what's going on? We don't know. What's going on? We have no idea. Like, no, the slightest idea. Right? But it's a really good show. I'm comparing it to... Ooh. I'm comparing it to Bluey. It's like Bluey, but for adults. That's how I would describe it. Bluey, but for adults. Because that's what it's giving. It's giving Bluey. That's still what... Give it a couple seconds. Give it a couple seconds. Um... It's really like mute TV and mute is not right. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but you know how Bluey is kind of like boring, but interesting. Well, I mean, I, I ain't got no children, so it's very boring to me, but that's how I feel about Carol in the end of the world. Like boring, but interesting. Okay. Now, since this ain't got nothing to grip onto, it should kind of peel off easy, right? Do we all agree that's what should happen? Okay. Oh, no, it was not ready. Damn. Damn. Still kind of warm. It wasn't ready. This way I need my sister because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I really think these settings work, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I had clipped on my camera. I have no idea. Like the slightest, but it look it look better on the viewfinder. Um, what else have I watched? Oh, poor things. We talked about poor things. Oh, I didn't finish talking about poor things. 
poor things like I'm really upset with um like the people who make movies or whatever or shows because like yes our generation is very nostalgic but we don't want to like I don't want to watch the show's new version in 2024 that I watched in 2000 and in 1998. I'm not interested in that. Poor Things was so, Poor Things and Saltburn were so different. Like, we, usually when we watch TV, we can predict, we, me, I'm sorry, y'all know I speak in third person. Usually when I watch TV, I could predict what's going on because of how they set it up. I had no idea what was going on in Poor Things. I had no idea what was going on in Saltburn and it was exciting like I would go to the movies for that I feel like they just keep remaking stuff like we didn't need we did not need Willy Wonka the color purple and Mean Girls in musical form we didn't we've seen those movies a thousand times we didn't need that if we wanted to see the musical we would have went to Broadway which we did people went to Broadway to watch these movies wicked am I excited to see that black girl and I hate that I call her that black girl because I don't know her name but y'all know who I'm talking about she used to date Lena Way you know is that her name Lena Way she, you know, at East Day, her. Am I excited to see her? Yes, I really am. But I didn't want to see her in a movie we already seen. Like, y'all, Hollywood, higher ups, aliens. If you see this, stop making shit we already seen. Let's see new stuff, okay? Let's see brand new ideas. Let's. Let's let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see a Ocean's 13 or 14. Um, because I watched Ocean's 8 last night too, which is my favorite one because of the women and Rihanna. Duh. Um, but I wish I think we're dry. See here running my mouth. I um I don't think that the brother was dead. Like I'm with her on that. And the way they kept insinuating it, I'm like, where's the next movie? Yes, Bernie Mac is dead. Yes, and that's sad. But we could have we could go on. Y'all brought the little Asian, the little Filipino man back in Ocean 8. We know he ain't dead. We know some of the people aren't dead. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope. Hold on. I don't know why it's so hard to pull. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Is it too big of a piece? Huh? Okay, he gonna have to wait. I got wax on my arm. But I definitely will take him out before I leave. Ugh. Okay, a little hair came out in that. Just a little. Is it everything? Ooh. How do you get wax off from under your arms? Morgan told me. What did she tell me? See, now I feel like I need to moisturize up underneath my arms. I think I do put just oil underneath there or something. So satisfying, but kind of painful if we're being 100, you know? But that's great. That is absolutely great. Okay. Now. Uh-oh. I should probably use a new stick for a new arm, right? Right. Okay. Give that a whirly world. All right. Now this is the right arm. Don't see all that hair? That's the right arm. And this is excellent. Like, this is what I'm telling y'all. Like, my goddamn skin. Ugh. But also, how about I found a Dupixin shot in the refrigerator that I did take? I had one left. I, I put it, I put it in yesterday. I did. I did. I burned the crap out of me. Like, that shot hurt. I don't know if it was like, I don't know what was going on with it, but that, that shot hurt like hell. I want to cry. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, we're going to go down.
And we're going to get some water. And we're going to go down right here. And right there. And maybe right here too. I gotta retrain my left hand because it don't want to do what it's supposed to do. It just don't. And I don't know what it is about that. Camera's overheated. I'll be back. Yeah, look. Baby, they got down here. Ooh, the neck got here. as bad as the first one. I'm sorry for all the squeaking y'all. I'm trying to talk my parents into remodeling the house. Okay, I think one more swipe of everything and we'll, that'll be good to go. So... It was breathing hard as hell. I'm trying to see what's going on. Okay, we're going up this time. Let's do that. Okay. That should do it. Oh, I'm tired. I'm not tired, my arm's tired. That that should get everything. Whew. After this, I'm gonna rub some alcohol and maybe then some coconut oil. That seems right. The meal I'm cooking tonight for my dad's birthday, like we're not, we're still going out to eat for my dad's birthday. That's just something that we enjoy doing is going out to eat. But my dad is going to the um, SEC championship games, NCAA, college basketball championship games in Memphis. He goes every year for his birthday, um, him and one of his line brothers. So, um... Today is his birthday. This weekend he'll be gone. We'll be taking him out to eat the next weekend. So, tonight we got to do something for him. You know, he's the man in our life. What, what are we going to do without him? So, yeah. The meal is inspired from the meal that we had in um, Blue Ridge when I went with my uh, college friends to... Uh, the mountains for like a long weekend. It was so lovely. My friend Michelle, she cooked this risotto, um, scallops, and lamb chops. And I don't, I don't, I'm not fond of scallops, so we're doing shrimp because my mama can't eat shrimp, but we like shrimp. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It might still be a little too. Oh, my arm's tired. It might be too warm. I don't even think I got no alcohol up here. Does Morgan have alcohol? I feel like she should, but I don't see nothing. 
I also feel like getting this hair from up underneath my arm is going to help a lot with like scent because y'all know I've been going to the gym and I don't do that whole you stink thing. Okay, a little hair came out there. That didn't do what we needed it to do. I don't do that whole funkiness part, so. It's still too hot. I'm gonna have to do this all the time. This, that's honestly pissing me off. Cause I gotta go. I need to go pick up the cake and get the risotto, and come back home in enough time to fold some clothes and put some up. Because that's what we're supposed to do today. But the good thing is, I already got the meat all, So. Fuck. Ooh, that pulled a little too good. Definitely got hair though. Definitely got hair. <sighs> My arms are so tired. <laughs> From what? I don't know. Ooh, that little bit got hair on it too. Ooh. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We're done with that, thank God. Um, rose you away. Let's cut you off. We're gonna leave that on her counter. Thank you, Morgan, so much if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. I really, really, really appreciate it. This has been the least like irritation. I've probably been waxing my arm. Uh, I want to say for at least the past six months, six, five to six months I've been doing this. And I don't do it really often, but it gives me the least irritation of underneath my arm. Y'all know my skin is funny. It's just funny in, in general, like random stuff irritated. So um, I could never do Nair. I tried Nair once in middle school and burned the hell out of my arm. Not doing that. Um, shaving, like, I, shaving doesn't irritate me. And I still sometimes do it, like, if I need to do something quick, I'll shave up underneath my arms. But waxing has just provided me the least irritation. It, like, I don't know what it is about it, but, like, I don't get no razor bumps, no, no bump bumps in general. You know the bumps you get when you shave. Like, none of that. Like, it just has provided me the least irritation. And I just can't, like ignore that that fact i'm trying to get this oil from underneath my arm and i got wax all over my damn shirt but that's okay because it's a reason to put this on um let's borrow some cotton swabs i really feel like my sister should have some alcohol why Watch this alcohol. Y'all, we reuse bottles so much. Like, you know, you know how we talk about the old people and they just be putting food and random shit. We put random stuff in like product bottles. This is definitely alcohol. I knew she had to have some. Okay, so we're gonna spray on this cotton swab and we're just gonna wipe up underneath my arm. Ooh, 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 shit. Ooh. Oh yeah, that burned. It's getting this wax up off me though. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, that burned like hell. Um. Whoa. 
Let's do the other under arm. Let's just do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Well, we're done with that. All right, let's go put some clothes on and then we'll head to the store. Does anybody else's dog think they need to go everywhere with them? Cause this is good. like, I'm just going to the store. It's not even that crazy. It's a beautiful day outside for it to be so cold this morning. Oh, yes. I have a blue jean jacket in my car. Hold on, hold on, wait. Because it is a little chilly. Hop in. Ooh, it's mosquitoes. Get out. The bugs is out. And that's a no-go for me. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Okay. All right. So we are headed to... With the dog window there. Y'all, my windows be acting like they don't want to go down. That's not okay. But, okay, we're finna run to Edgar's to pick up this blunt cake. And then we are headed to... I'm reading stuff on my phone. Then we are headed to the store. Um, probably Publix. I don't know if people legally sell risotto. They might. We'll see. We'll see. Is the sun going to be on my side today? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm using the ice maker to hold my camera. Okay, y'all. I'm back from the store and from the cake. Look at this cake. It's so cute. We did a blank cake. The guy at Eggers was like, this gonna be your new favorite cake. Cause he asked me had I ever had and I said no, but you know, everybody in Birmingham has had the strawberry cake, which they have. And he was like, nah, this is different. So I'm excited to try that. Found risotto. Read the label. Okay. It took me, I was standing on the rice pasta aisle for 10 minutes looking for something that said risotto. It don't. It don't say risotto. It says Italian style rice for risotto dishes. Crazy. This is the white wine that we're going to be adding to the risotto tonight. Uh, I don't drink wine, so this don't really mean nothing to me, but I picked it because of the brown people. I mean, there's a white person up there, but we got two brown people on the label. That's, that's why I picked it. It was $6, two for 12 at Publix. Who can argue with that? I also got some fries. This is going for my lunch. I'm going to have some chicken nuggets and fries for lunch. Nothing crazy. Oh, let me show y'all my drinks. Somebody need to sell these by the case. Every time I see these, they are individual. And I might not just be looking at the wrong place, but the peach is my favorite flavor. And then strawberry, I've had it before. It's really good. So buy one, get one free. At Publix. I low key need to go back, but I only got four dollars left. Okay, so I'm about to fix me some lunch and then um, let my food digest, and then I'm cleaning my room, and then we'll be back to do dinner, which I don't think I'm gonna separate um, dinner today. Like, I think I'm just going to put it all in this video. And then y'all will see us sing happy birthday. Oh, I forgot candles. Do we have candles? There's some in the drawer. It ain't 61. Oh, it's in the drawer. 
Okay. I was supposed to get candles. That was what I was supposed to do. But after spending 10 minutes on the right side at Publix, I was ready to go. But all right, I'm finna eat lunch. Okay, we got a sharp knife now, hopefully. Yes. Cause that was ridiculous that it took that long. Oh, no, that didn't do. That didn't do it. Did this do it? So she said just put Italian dressing over this. So we're gonna do that. Let's just mix this up. Then this just will go in the fridge for a couple of hours. Okay, 
Okay, y'all. Y'all, I'm about to start cooking dinner. Um, this dinner is remember I told y'all it's my dad's birthday. Also, I didn't text him happy birthday, so he came in the house today, and I was like, happy birthday. And he was like, oh, somebody remembers it's my birthday. Y'all, he thought I forgot his birthday. How about I forget a man's birthday? Talking about he heard from everybody else except for me. I live with you. I could tell you happy birthday in person. But next time I know to send a text message because this is what we be talking about. But the men, y'all, they just feisty as hell. Y'all, they feisty as hell. Y'all, they all right so um the lamb chops are the lamb chops are marinated um my shrimp is stalling i'm about to cut these tips off these green beans and prep it and then we'll move on to whatever else we got to do today pretty hands mm -hmm. Profession is a disease of a nation. Told me that I do not look a day over 40. These and people I, just love to kiss your I ass. Told her, I said, You are very kind. Did you tell her that your family disagree? TV was in black and white. That's old as hell. Everybody had TVs in black and white back in the day. Color what now then? That's how we know you old as hell. That's sure. what we saying. That's what, what we say? saying. My TV had color. Okay, oh, it's just three minutes. Should be enough on this. Pretty. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we want like just garlic green beans or like the spicy green beans with the red pepper flakes? Uh, garlic green beans are sufficient. If it's too spicy, your mama ain't gonna eat it. All right, everybody brush their teeth tonight because this is gonna be a garlicky meal. And to herself. Yeah, I only brush my teeth once a day. But I ain't sleeping with my mouth open in front of somebody. Y'all sleep face to face with your mouth open. Okay. The next time me and Morgan gonna take a picture of y'all. Yes, y'all sleep face to face with your mouth open. We, we, must do, we must be facing each other when they come in there and look. But I turn it on from side to side. Because I can't stay on one side for so long. Hey, are the fresh green beans the same beans that you snap or is that something else? Same ones you snap. They're fresh out your garden. Really? So is this me snapping except I'm using a knife? Uh-huh. And you know, I grew up on those kind of things because we used to grow them in my, in my dad's garden. You grew up on real vegetables. I don't know where you got this canned nonsense from. Because it's convenient. That's why I got it from. From somebody who grew up with a farm, you should be farm we fresh grew everything. Our okra out the garden, our peas, our green beans, squash, all the stuff you grew in the garden. Uh, cabbage, turnip greens, collards. Oh, Daddy, you sat down. I have. Damn. And got comfortable. Damn. Get the footstool in there. That's what it's for. Olive oil. I know you want me to get some out of the cabinet. I do. Oh, shit. Y'all. Garlic. Take another surtake today. 
Who? Pepper. Well, he's scratching. No, he hasn't had a snack unless Mama gave him one. Pepper. He looking like, why would you call me over here? Did it have money in it? Mm -hmm. Gift all, card? They all find it. I ain't proud of y'all. And you just do a, mix that up and we'll pop these bad boys in the oven. Shit. There you go. Okay, now we're going to slice up this shallot using my little slicer that I got from TJ Maxx. Uh, does it matter that I got these on the wrong side? Okay, I don't know. We're going to use this slice size and just Beautiful. Smash. Y'all buy the kitchen gadgets, okay? Just buy them. Yeah, that's enough, Cody. Stop begging. You ain't even supposed to have bread like that. You always want to take it too far. Oh, shit. I almost popped my nail off, y'all. And that's our chopped shallot. Um, 
put all this in here. Next on my list is a pen. Okay, y'all, this is my cell phone. Of course, my camera... Well, actually, my battery didn't even die. I just didn't have no more space on my memory card. So this is how far we've gotten on the risotto. It's almost done. I think I just got a fourth of a cup left of chicken broth to add. And so I'll be back. After I finish this and add the cheese, I'm going to start the shrimp and the um, lamb chops. Okay, y'all. Now we got the lamb chops going. I'm searing them for two minutes on each side. And then I put them in the oven on 350 for like three or four minutes. Okay, peeps, this is the shrimp scampi. The shrimp scampi is, I cooked the shrimp for a little while, um, took it out, like when a little while, I'm talking about literally like 40 seconds, took it out, added white wine, added garlic, red pepper flakes, uh, cold butter, salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, and what's this stuff called? What's this green stuff called? Not cilantro, parsley. And then um, let, oh, and cornstarch to kind of thicken the sauce a little bit. And then you just add your shrimp back in there and kind of just let it do its thing. And that's, that's it, that's dinner y'all. The green beans are done. Okay, we're ready to eat. Okay, y'all, this is the plate. I personally think we all did ourselves this time, guys, but well, let's taste it. Please. please stop fussing at my dog. Please. Now, when I said that, anybody say nothing. Okay, lamb chop. Just so folks got to eat. Mm hmm. What are risotto you talking about? Inside the thing. My mama got a shrimp allergy, so we gotta separate everything. Risotto. <laughs> shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Y'all. This is so good. I hate that y'all couldn't see the whole thing because my memory card died. This is what we drinking today, the strawberry one. <sighs> this is like got my taste buds like excited. Did you get one of the darker ones? I don't know. Did I? Is that one the darker one? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my meal, and I will. Oh, this is not a cook dinner with me. This is just a regular day. This is my dad's birthday dinner. You see him, Dad? Look up. Hey. So this is our meal, and um, Guess we'll come what? back when we Guess see what? the cake. He asked for no bread. He didn't ask for no bread, y'all. He asked for no bread this meal. I was just getting ready to say what bread is. Thank you, bitch. Saying. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leslie. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Oh, this hair. Baby, you look good. Y'all, that's a 61-year-old man right there. He blew out all his candles in one breath. I'm finna